I'm Denny Peterson, and this is my 1950 Olds Rocket 88 Coupe. Last year we came out uh, back to the 50s. Uh, it's a gathering put on by the Minnesota Street Route Association. A lot of people know of it. Uh, I was just doing my rounds and I uh, came across Danny Peterson's 1950 Rocket 88 Oldsmobile and uh, just looking it over and got to talking with him and turned out that he was a life member. And we always like to put the best member cars that we can find in the magazine, you know, good representation. and. You know, we thought uh, Denny's car was definitely, you know, a good candidate, so we decided to put a photo shoot together. One of my best friends bought this car for his son, and the uh, kid smacked it up after having it for a month, so Dale took it away and put it in storage down in southeast Minneapolis, and it kind of dry rotted in a garage for about 20 years. I'm 65 years old, so back when I was a kid, I had a couple of friends of mine with 50 Oldsmobiles, and uh, it was pretty much one of the fastest cars on the road back then, and we were kind of king of Lake Street and University Avenue with them cars, and I've always loved the 50 Olds. When my buddy took this away from his stepson, I tried to buy the car from him for over 20 years, and he didn't want to get rid of it. And Finally, when he lost storage, he just had it delivered to my house, and, uh, and uh, so I didn't pay a thing for it, and I uh, started working on it. I had a 1933 Ford two-door sedan and a 1953 Chevy Pro Street at the time. And I come down with uh, colon cancer six and a half years ago and figured um, life is just too short. So I uh, sold both cars, told the wife I was going to buy a new Harley Road King. So we went and did that. And I pulled the Oldsmobile out of the shed and two and a half years later, I got it all done. And, uh, I like it. Uh, it's a blast, but anybody knows driving an old car, everybody looks at you going down the highway, and um, it's kind of funny in the car shows that I'm in, I kind of stand and watch people, I like to watch people, and all the old guys that know 50 olds, 49, 50 olds will look and they'll point at the horn button, because I modified this steering wheel to accept the original horn button on it. Um, some of the younger kids don't realize that, but it's, it's kicks. It's fun driver, it rides smooth, it handles nice. It's got all the power in the world, so yeah, I like the car. As far as the work on the car, um, I did pretty much um, all the fabricating. I took the body off and redid the frame, welded a new uh, Fat Man sub on the front. Put the new nine inch curry in. A friend of mine, um, he's a machinist. He helped me do the welding on the rear end. As far as the body work, I did quite a bit, except rounding the door corners and filling the rocker panels. And uh, Ron Goral from Unique Auto Body did all that. I did all the wiring, installing the seats, got everything ready for the upholster to upholster. And then I redid the dash because. Uh, the radio used to be at an angle on top of the dash, and I re redid the dash so it looks stock, but the, I put a new radio and a CD in, so it's uh, horizontal, so it'll accept the CD without going off the track. Actually, I come from a pretty poor family, big family, so right out of high school, I joined the Navy. And uh, when I was down in California, I seen all them old hot rods running around. I really got the car bug. So um, I always wanted one. Then I got out of the service. And be between school and getting married and having kids, of course, I couldn't afford I just couldn't afford it. Uh, so it was quite a while. I was uh, probably um, 45 years old before I bought my first bought that 33 Ford and could actually start working on it. And I didn't know much about them, so I went to school nights to learn how to weld, and I bought a welder, and, uh, and joining the Minnesota Street Rod Association, uh, I met a lot of guys and made a lot of new friends. Uh, just going to car shows and talking to people, I learned a lot about cars, and I'm a hands-on guy, so I just, uh, a lot of times I did things twice and three times to get it right, but uh, I finally get it right.
At 33 Ford, I loved that 33 Ford, but it ran down the road quite hard. My wife didn't like to ride in it. Uh, when you run the big pro street, it's not too healthy to run in the rain on the freeway. It rode nice, but it wasn't highway feasible. Um, this car rides nice, handles nice, everything. My wife loves it, so I really don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep this car till, uh, till the end. And then I'll just give it to my wife for, uh, maybe I'll let them bury me in it up to my cabin. Thank <laughs> you.